Okay, let's do another example of a face portrait. Face portrait. Uh, this time we're going to consider dx dt equal 3x plus 5y and dy dt equal negative 4x minus 5y. In this case, uh, as always, the first step is to write the matrix. The matrix is 3, 5, negative 4, negative 5, and then we compute the characteristic equation, but in order to do that, we have to compute the trace first. The trace is 3 minus 5 is negative 2, and the determinant of A is negative 15, plus 20 is a positive 5 and then the characteristic equation is lambda square minus the trace that will be plus 2 lambda uh, plus 5 equals 0 and we can do the quadratic equation and then we get that the lambda is equal to negative 1 plus or minus to i. And if we compare this, we write this in the form alpha plus or minus beta i, we realize that alpha is equal to negative 1 and beta is positive 2. Uh, complex eigenvalues eigen with alpha negative means that we have, uh, we call this an a spiral, a spiral sink. Um, in order to do a spiral sink, uh, we do um, we just need to pick a vector, pick a drive. Well, we write the vector field of the system b of x y equal to three x plus five y, and then negative four x minus five y, and then uh, we pick a point. I suppose that this is the Cartesian, but we pick one zero. We can always pick one zero, and we do b of one zero. b of one zero means x equal one, y equal zero. Then we get the vector three, negative four. Three negative four is a vector that goes like in that direction. That means that the spirals are going, they are going toward the origin because it's a spiral sink. Remember that this is an orbit on its own. Um, then uh, the spiral goes like this, it goes toward the origin and it will go infinitely many times like that and this is the direction and then it will go like this. This is an, a spiral sink and actually this curve is called a logarithmic, logarithmic spiral. Okay, this is a, the case of a spiral sink, this is it.